Hello grade 10 students. In this video, you are going to differentiate a permutation from a combination of objects taken are at a time. Are you ready? Let's start with a simple recall of what these terms mean. What is a combination? Remember that a combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. How about a permutation? A permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a set when the order of arrangement matters. Given various situations and problems, let's differentiate one from the other. To start off, let's have this simple problem. How many triangles are formed by the vertices A, B, C, and D? Let's see. We have triangle a, B, D, which can also be named as triangle B, A, D, or triangle D, A, B. We can rearrange these letters in whatever way we want to name the triangle for as long as we use only the letters a, B, and D. So let's stick with triangle A, B, D. We also have triangle A, C, D, which can also be named in many other ways like triangle A, B, C or triangle B, C, D, but let's use triangle A, C, D. How many triangles are there? That's correct! There are four triangles formed. This is actually an example of a combination problem. Why? If I have triangle ABC, it is just the same as triangle BCA. Remember that in naming a triangle in geometry, the order of the letters does not matter. Knowing that, we can solve this problem using the combination formula, which is... The combination of N taken R at a time is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial times the quantity N minus R factorial. In the given problem, the value of N is 4. Because there are four vertices identified, while the value of R is 3, because we need three vertices to form a triangle. Substituting the value of N and the value of R in the formula, we get Four factorial over three factorial times the quantity four minus three factorial. 
Performing the operation inside the parenthesis, we now have 4 factorial over 3 factorial times 1 factorial. Remember that 4 factorial can be expanded as 4 times 3 factorial. So, we can divide out 3 factorial in the denominator and in the numerator. What remains now is 4 over 1 factorial. 1 factorial is just 1. So, simplifying further, we arrive at 4. There really are four triangles formed. Did you get it? I hope you do because we will proceed to the next example. Now, let's go back to our previous figure and let's consider triangle ABD. In how many ways can you name triangle ABD? D. This is a good example of a permutation problem. Remember that the three letters that were used to name the given triangle can be rearranged to form other names for the same triangle. Therefore, the order of the letters matters in this specific problem. That is why we can use the permutation formula to solve it. Recall that the permutation of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial. In our problem, the value of n is 3 because we are only considering three points, a, b, and d, while the value of r is also 3 because we need three letters to name a triangle. Substituting these values to the formula, we now have the permutation of 3 taken 3 at a time is equal to 3 factorial over 3 minus 3 factorial. Simplifying the numbers inside the parenthesis, we get 3 factorial over 0 factorial. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1 and the value of 0 factorial is 1. Simplifying the resulting expression, we will get 6. Therefore, there are 6 ways to name triangle ABD. Let's verify if our answer is correct. Let us list down all possible names of triangle ABD. Systematically, listing down these names, we have triangle ABD. Triangle ADB Triangle BAD Triangle BDA Triangle DAB And lastly, Triangle DBA Easy, right? Get ready for another set of problems. In this activity, we are asked to determine whether each situation shows permutation or combination. 
Ready? Number 1. Setting a 5-digit PIN code in your phone. Is this a permutation or a combination? Correct! This is a permutation. Why? Because the order of the numbers in a PIN code matters. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is different from 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Let's take another example. A team of 17 softball players needs to choose 3 players to refill the water cooler. Permutation or combination? That's right! It is a combination. The order of the chosen players does not matter. For example, choosing Joe, Jay, and Red in that order is not different from Red, Jay, and Joe. Okay, let's have number three. Forming three-letter words with or without meaning out of the letters of the word swing. Is it a permutation or is it a combination? Very good! It is a permutation. The order of the letters matters. For example, the word sui is different from wis. Let's have the last one. Selecting five balls from among a set of five black balls and three red balls such that at least three of them are black balls. Yes! It is a combination because the order of the drawn balls does not matter. For example, selecting black, black, red, black, red is not different from red, black, red, black, black. What is important is that there must be at least three black balls. Did you get everything right? If so, congratulations! Now that you are able to differentiate permutation from a combination given those examples, you are ready to do it on your own. Please answer, practice exercise, and evaluation in your learning activity sheet on a separate answer sheet. Happy solving and keep safe. Thank you.